New at 530, it's a major investment in the future. Navy leaders broke ground today on the latest and critically needed renovation at Naval Norfolk Naval Shipyard. Mike Gooding has the details. The Norfolk Naval Shipyard, which dates back to 1767, takes an enormous step today towards its future. $300 million will be spent modernizing Dry Dock 8 and adjacent berths, which date back to 1942. The improvements are needed so the Dry Dock can accommodate Ford-class aircraft carriers, which are four feet wider and displace 3,000 tons more than their Nimitz-class predecessors. This is an incredibly wise investment, long overdue. One of the most limiting factors in our ability to get ships out on time is dry dock capacity. The Government Accountability Office found in 2020 that 75 percent of planned maintenance periods for aircraft carriers and submarines at the nation's four publicly owned naval shipyards were completed late. We got to keep those ships afloat so they can do the mission. It's a dangerous world that we have out there. We have adversaries that are watching and they're watching our capabilities. And this is absolutely a must. I mean, I consider these dry docks national treasures and we are investing in these national treasures. The dry dock update is part of the Navy's overall 20 year, $21 billion shipyard infrastructure optimization program. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. This isn't the only dry dock upgrade. In 2020, the Navy began a $200 million renovation of Dry Dock 4, which will be used to repair Ohio and Columbia class ballistic missile submarines. That improvement will be completed later this year. 